of same-sex couples. Their lawyers say the marriages would be legal, allowed under an ancient Christian tradition. Raj Alawalia reports. I got to put cinnamon in there. They're trying to behave as if it's just another Sunday before church. Nothing special. Do you actually want to get some orange juice, Kevin? But for Joe Varnell and Kevin Barassa, it is a special occasion. Living together for three years, they already have many of the rights a common law couple has, but today they'll take the first step towards what they hope will be a legal marriage. Anyone else can stand up in their church and have their bans read and then actually have a valid marriage license and registered by the province of Ontario. Why should we as a couple be any different? There is no, uh, you know, no other benefit other than um, probably the most supreme benefit any of us can ask for, and that is our human right. It is an ancient Christian tradition, the publication of what are called bans, in essence an announcement of the intent to marry. In practice, some believe that will allow gays and lesbians in Ontario to legally wed. I published the bans of marriage between Kevin Barassa and Joe Vernell. The process is repeated for another couple, two women. Hearing no legal cause raised this day, we will continue to publish the bans the next two Sundays and we will celebrate that marriage on January the 14th. The question though, will those marriages be recognized as legal by governments? It simply won't be recognized, it won't be registered, it won't be a registered marriage. I think it's legal, yes. A prominent gay rights lawyer, Martha McCarthy, says the courts will ultimately force governments to recognize same-sex marriages. Politicians are afraid of these kinds of issues. Uh, it certainly isn't reflective of public opinion because uh, a large majority of Canadians support same-sex marriage. No, they don't, says this activist. He says his group will oppose any attempts to recognize same-sex marriage. I don't believe that in our society we should be making such radical changes through court action. At home in Toronto, Elaine and Anne Vautour say if they have to go to court yeah. to have their marriage recognized, so be it. It's the normal next step. It needs to be done. I would like to see us to be able to pave the way and have equality and social justice for all people. In sickness and health. In the meantime, they're busy practicing their vows and planning their wedding. Raj Alawalia, CBC News, Toronto. Tonight, same-sex challenge. I published the bans of marriage between Kevin Barassa and Joe Vernell. A gay church uses an old ritual in the fight for new rights. Mega anger. Thousands rally to save Quebec's small towns from being swallowed up by big cities. And... William the Conqueror logs on for a royal adventure. Yeah. <laughs> CTV News with Sandy Rinaldo. Good evening. To some, it's an attempt to circumvent the law. To others, it's an attempt to win equality for gays and lesbians. Two Toronto men are hoping an old Christian tradition will allow them to do what no homosexual couple has ever done. With the help of their church and a loophole in Ontario law, they want to tie the knot legally. With more on this push for same-sex marriage, here is CTV's Michael Serapio. There's Onyx. There's Onyx, yes. A year ago, Jillian Kevin Barassa and Joe Varnell wanted to get married. Instead, they had to settle for a commitment ceremony because gay marriage is not allowed in Canada. And Kevin and Joe say that is unfair. We are part of the community. And being part of the community, we should be allowed to be part of the family as well. And that means not treating us separately. And that means that um, marriage as a sanctity is ours to embrace as much as anyone else's. Kevin and Joe are now hoping to get legal recognition by using a little-known Anglican tradition, the publication of bans. In Ontario, people can be legally married if the names of intended couples are published by their church on three consecutive Sundays before a wedding. I publish the bans of marriage between Kevin Barassa and Joe Vernell. Today, the first ban was announced. While the legal concept of marriage traditionally involves a man and a woman, Ontario's Marriage Act does not specify gender when referring to the publication of bans, and that is the legal opening that the church was looking for. In Section 5 of the Ontario Marriage Act, it just says any person. It doesn't say two persons of the opposite sex. Even though the law is not that specific, Kevin and Joe could still be denied legal standing. And that's because even after the bans are read here, it's up to the Ontario government to decide whether or not to register the marriage. 
In the end, it could say no. Ontario says it will not consider the matter until the names are forwarded, but opponents are not waiting to voice their opinions. They say marriage must be reserved for heterosexual couples. While there can be all sorts of ways that uh, gay people could find to uh, solidify their relationships, partnerships, all sorts of other legal ways, but that this particular one has a sort of a hallowed place in our tradition. In the end, this dispute may have to be resolved in the courts. Michael Serapio, CTV News, Toronto. Gay organizations say with, that without the ability to form legal marriages, same-sex couples are denied rights every other married couple enjoys. For example, the right to visit their partner in hospital, despite the objections of other family members. The right to sponsor a spouse as an immigrant. The right to adopt children. And the right to transfer registered retirement savings plans to a surviving spouse. And one final note, the Netherlands is the most progressive society when it comes to homosexual marriages. A bill allowing same-sex unions has already passed through Parliament and is awaiting assent in the Senate. That's been already known as the reading of bans. It's recognized in Ontario and it allows for marriages without a license. Hearing no legal cause raised this day, we will continue to publish the bans the next two Sundays and we will celebrate that marriage on January the 14th. <laughs> According to the tradition, the intention to marry will be announced, and if no legal objections are raised, the marriage ceremony will go ahead. Next month, the Toronto Church hopes to conduct a double ceremony for one gay couple, one lesbian couple. The Ontario government is, however, under no legal obligation to recognize those marriages. Not allowed to do. That's because the couples are gay. Under federal legislation, their marriages aren't supposed to be recognized, but these couples may have found a way around that old law using an even older religious tradition. Raj Alawalia explains. It is an ancient Christian tradition, the publication of what are called bans, in essence an announcement of the intent to marry. In practice, some believe that will allow gays and lesbians in Ontario to legally wed. I publish the bans of marriage between Kevin Barassa and Joe Vernell. The process is repeated for another couple, two women. Hearing no legal cause raised this day, we will continue to publish the bans the next two Sundays and we will celebrate that marriage on January the 14th. <laughs> The question though, will those marriages be recognized as legal by governments? It simply won't be recognized, it won't be registered, it won't be a registered marriage. I think it's legal, yes. A prominent gay rights lawyer, Martha McCarthy, says the courts will ultimately force governments to recognize same-sex marriages. Politicians are afraid of these kinds of issues. Uh, it certainly isn't reflective of public opinion because uh, a large majority of Canadians support same-sex marriage. No, they don't, says this activist. He says his group will oppose any attempts to recognize same-sex marriage. I don't believe that in our society we should be making such radical changes through court action. At home in Toronto, Elaine and Anne Vautour say if they have to go to court yeah. to have their marriage recognized, so be it. It's the normal next step. It needs to be done. I would like to see us to be able to pave the way and have equality and social justice for all people. In the meantime, they're busy practicing their vows and planning their wedding. Raj Alawalia, CBC News, Toronto. The church, with its large gay and lesbian congregation, published the first bans of marriage yesterday. I published the bans of marriage between Kevin Barassa and Joe Vernell. The two men and two women announced their intentions in the ancient Christian tradition of publishing bans. Right now, same-sex couples can't obtain marriage licenses from city clerks. Reverend Hawks believes he's there found no a loophole. Cause raised this day. That Toronto's Marriage to Act allows couples to get a license if their names are published and read out in a church. The double wedding is scheduled for the middle of January.